morning, good morning, another in-betweener day, what I call the days between projects. So I got out this box of paper that I had the other day, and I'm determined to do another page in my art journal because I'm really close to this one being done. And I um, picked out three things. That vase, which is gorgeous, and I'm not sure. I picked out two architectural digest um, item pages. Uh, but when they do a spread, they do like a page afterwards or before, afterwards, I guess it is, of things that are in that house or things that are like that things that in that house or by the same artists. And they they um, tell you where you can buy them and how much they are. They're thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but they're great for art journals. So I just took out two and said, okay, I'm going to work with these two. Find something on these two that works. So this is a, I think it's a poochy table that's thousands of dollars and it's barely big enough for a coffee cup, but it, it you know, it's perfect for an art journal. Um, I think this was a plate, this lady's head or a bowl, something, I don't know. But when you put it all together, you know, it makes a cute little statement. So we're going to, and, and all I can think of, all that's in my head no, I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm not going to tell you yet. You have to wait to the end. <laughs> Anyhow, so I, I wanted to make a background with paper and a collage background and, and, and some color. Obviously, for me, color. But I kept going around and around and around and around. I don't know. I, I like this, but this isn't what I was setting out to do. But this is what the paper told me to do, so I work very intuitively. Stupid me, I'm always used to working with a traveler's notebook size, but that's not the size of this art journal. <laughs> so I decided to make them even smaller and add stuff to it in the end, which works. It works. I like the background, and I like the, the subject matter, the focal point. But do they go together? Not so sure. But in the end, it's okay. It's okay. It's an art journal page. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I Somebody said the other day in a video, do not set out to make a masterpiece every single time you sit down at your in your art studio or wherever you end up on a rock in the woods painting. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece every single time. Um, I'm like, oh, that does make a lot of sense. Don't strive for masterpieces every time. Now, not, not that I do because, I mean, I rarely, rarely have a masterpiece. Um, in my head, I love them, but they're not masterpieces. But that I can work with. That space right there of color I can work with. Um, and I saw by Bun on a Patreon video did something like this. I'm using my left hand so it's not controlled. But she used a sepia color with her black Stabilo. And I'm like, ooh, I have that artful um, chalk thing. And I'm going to make those two get together, go together. Do they match the pages that I just put down? Not so sure. But in the end, if you tie it all together, I'm not disappointed in it. And I, I do love this chalk. It's Taylor's chalk in an art form. It, it's the weirdest thing, but it is so cool. And this is a sepia color. Um, it's just beautiful. It's, I call it like Da Vinci old brown or old okra, ochre, that's what it is, ochre. Anyhow, I'm trying to use my left hand again and not make decisions and, and um, pinpoint accuracy. Not that I have pinpoint accuracy, but I'm just trying to be whimsical. And in the end, I don't hate this. It's not my favorite, but it's not a masterpiece. It's not gonna go in, in the Metropolitan, but that's okay. I had fun. I achieved something. I got another page done in my art journal. Um, and because I have just finished that book of all these famous people and what they would do if they were in Yosemite, and Mary Shelley was one of the last ones, those things coming out of the neck of the vase <laughs> remind me of Frankenstein. So this is Mary Shelley. <laughs> I, good or bad, whatever. Um, Mary Shelley in the 20. What, what century are we on? The 23rd century? Or 21st century? 23rd? I don't know what century we're in. In the 2200s. In the 20... 20 hundreds. 
21st century. I don't know. I don't know how that works. 21st century, I think we are. Anyhow, Mary Shelley in present day, she would have humongous sunglasses, I'm quite certain. And her screws wouldn't be green, they'd be red now. So, so much fun, so much fun. And that is the point to me of an art journal is to experiment and play and come up with crazy ideas and ladies show up in your art journal every once in a while. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.